you know, I could make a list an arm long for all the times I've been hurt using power tools. And the older you get, the wiser you get when it comes to using safety devices to protect you. Now, no matter what you're using, you need eye protection. This is so critical and it's so easy. You can buy an inexpensive pair of safety glasses, put on, you don't even know you have them on, but it protects you from getting stuff in your eyes. Now, if you're gonna use loud tools, you know, circular saws or hammer drills or nail guns, think about ear protection. You can use these larger muffs or there are even smaller earplugs you can put inside your ears to protect your hearing. And of course, if you're doing any demo work or sanding, you want to make sure you use a good mask. These devices will help keep you safe no matter what kind of power tools you're using. One of the most popular tools that people are using now are cordless drills and you really do have to take special care when you're using these because I think people get complacent. The one thing to remember is your tool is only as good as the accessories you use. So you wanna make sure that the bits are sharp, that they're strong, and that you're using the right accessory with the drill. Now, they all come with really good grips. You wanna make sure that you're holding it steady with your hand. You'll see this particular one has what they call a keyless chuck, so it's very easy to change the bit. And you just tighten it by hand, and many of them now have these clutches on there that when you're using it as a screw gun will actually keep you from stripping a screw when you're putting things together. So again, remember, I talked about safety glasses, the one piece of safety equipment you want to use every single time. You make sure your accessory is nice and tight. You get ready to drill, two hands on, and go. All right, a reciprocating saw is really a tool you have to have a lot of respect for because this tool can do a heck of a lot of work and a heck of a lot of damage when you're using it for demolition work or maybe you're building a deck or doing some renovation work. But you have to be very careful because they are very powerful tools. And with that blade out on the end here, you really have to take special care to make sure that you have a good grip, that you're using the tool correctly so that you don't run the risk of injuring yourself. Now again, I'm gonna don the safety glasses because when you're using one of these, it can really kick up a lot of debris and dust. In particular, you'll see a lot of people using this overhead for cutting, and that's where the stuff's falling down. So that's really critical to use the uh, safety glasses. Now, I, I set up a piece of wood here, I clamped it. There's a, a fence here that you actually wanna use against the wood because by holding the tool steady, you, you lessen the fact that it's gonna jump around. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You see how quickly this tool can do its work when you have the right amount of respect and you're taking the necessary steps to keep yourself safe. All right, for circular saws, you always want to try to make sure that that blade is tight. Before every use, use the wrench on there to make sure the blade is nice and tight. You never want to defeat any of the numerous safety devices that are on circular saws, like this blade guard. Never want to see you wedge this open because this is an accident waiting to happen. And before you do any work on the saw, make sure that you either unplug it, if it's a corded unit, or if it's a battery, make sure you take the battery off. Put the battery back in, safety glasses on, and you're ready to cut. No matter what kind of power tools you're using, make sure that you practice common sense. Use the right safety devices and take your time because we want you to do a lot more with these tools. Now, if you want more information, we have a link to a terrific site at our website, housemartstv.com.